We're back in the central time zone. It's been about five months since we've been in the central time zone. So slowly working our way back to the Midwest. We're here in Texas near some oil rigs and that's kind of cool. Maybe we'll see some of them kick on, watch it live in action. <laughs> I absolutely love the Presto Nomad slow cooker for travel days so that we can have dinner ready when we get to our campsite. It makes travel days a little less stressful just having a meal prepared and ready for you when you get there. We really rely on this Presto Nomad slow cooker. If you're in the market for a slow cooker, I've included a link for it in the description below. A little late night dump. Not how I wanted to spend my evening, but we just arrived at the state park near Greater of Diamonds State Park, and we have electrical hookups at our site, but not sewer, so. We're getting a dump in before we head over to that site. I'm starving. The crock pot food smells so amazing and I just want to eat it. But Jacob's making me wait. <laughs> Moment of truth. Let's see how it turned out. Four. That's a lot of juice. I'm hungry. Yeah. Oh, that pork chop meal was incredible. It tasted so good. I think we might be the only people at this entire campground, which is a little weird because it is pretty remote and having hookups is nice at least. It's almost kind of eerie rolling in at night and nobody's here. It's like an empty campground. But I guess we'll see what it looks like in the morning. We have absolutely no cell service kind of down in this hole. And uh, the only reason we have service is because of Starlink. So I was searching online. We got Site 31, has the most open view to the sky, waterfront. It's going to be a cool view in the morning. We lucked out with our site. We picked the only one with a clear view to the north sky. And we only have a few small obstructions, but we're getting really good speeds. And we have zero cell reception. So the cool thing is we're able to connect up and work throughout the day. And leave Starlink on all night. Yeah, and we have electrical connections here. So we were able to leave it on all night to give us 
a full scan of the clear view of the sky and it's pretty cool. You could see everything on it here, I'll show you. The little red dots are the only obstructions. Huh. I don't Which see isn't very any. much. Yeah. Just a couple. There's nobody at this campground. It's Corps of Engineers in near Hot Springs, Arkansas, and it just feels so deserted. It's wild. There's showers here at this Corps of Engineers campground, and I'm really looking forward to having unlimited hot water and running water. This hair's looking a little greasy. So let's go see what the bathroom and showers look like. pretty clean I'm not gonna lie usually these campgrounds tend to have a lot of bugs and spiders crawling everywhere but I don't really see anything and decent shower I guess don't want to touch the curtain so yeah guess I'll be showering here today not bad take that as a win Well, it turns out we're not the only ones here. There's at least two other campers, but this campground feels super empty because we're all really spread out. But it is a really cool campground. I'm sure it's busy during the peak of the summer with the boat ramp right here, swimming access and a private cove. Seems like the ideal spot to me. How greasy does my hair look right now? <laughs> Super greasy. It almost feels wet and heavy. Ugh. It's only been three days since my last shower, but since we're back in the Midwest and we're in Arkansas, the moisture here is out of control. 64% humidity inside, 60% outside. Coming from the West Coast, we haven't seen these levels in five months. It's pretty wild. So, my hair is really, really taking the taking a beating from the moisture. Fortunately though, we're gonna go shower here in this nice campground shower. I'm gonna have unlimited hot water, running water, and I might even use conditioner today. Usually I don't use conditioner because we don't have a, a lot of water and I'm trying to conserve our water. <laughs> oh man, I just don't feel my most confident self when my hair looks like this. <laughs> Megan and Reed gave us this cocktail shaker as a wedding gift, and we've used it quite a bit at home, but surprisingly, over the thousand miles, thousands of miles that we've traveled, we've only used it zero times. <laughs> so this will be the first time we're going to make a martini. Stasha wants one. I'm going to let her do the mixing concoction because that's her magic, but uh, we love these things. <laughs> Gotta have ice. Lots of ice. <laughs> Harder, you gotta go harder. It's getting cold. How cold is it? Very cold. <laughs> I'm gonna grab this. 
<laughs> no, you're gonna melt my ice. No, no, I'm just getting some insulation. That's good. Cheers. <laughs>